Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, Monday the 4th of September. We hope you had a great weekend. Welcome to this week. And of course, let's have a look at what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, on Friday, US markets eat out small gains, again with the exception of the Nasdaq, which finished neutral. And recent highs are within sight. Less than 1.6% to the highs we hit in June on the S&P 500. And this was after the non-farm payrolls, which came in pretty much as expected. And markets did give away some of their early gains, but it was Friday and we've had a positive week. And so not surprising to see a little bit of end of day profit taking. US futures are near neutral in the early Asian trading. Asian markets are generally positive following Friday's US lead. ASX has been up around about the 0.5% for most of the session. It was slightly higher after open, uh, but just pulled back a little bit. Materials are outperforming. European futures are pointing to a mildly positive open, and the VIX continues to drop downwards on a bit of market calming. US dollar index surprisingly spiked on Friday, despite that non-farm payrolls number, and is trading towards the top of the range. Looking a bit soft today in Asia, gold still looks bullish and is testing 19.50. Copper has moved over 200 EMA again. It did on Friday intraday, but then moved back beneath it by the close of the American session. But we are above it in Asia today, and all has breached resistance. Energy stocks strong in the US and likewise in Asia today. Bitcoin continues to be choppy around 26,000. It is a quiet day today, today, and in fact, it is fairly quiet during the week. But we have got German trade balance and Swiss GDP out later today. Services PMI tomorrow, and of course, the RBA has its interest rate decision in the afternoon. A couple of charts at Core RI today. Uh, Paladin Energy continues to look really strong. We talked about this last week, and it moved through this 85 uh, and a half cent mark. It now is testing highs from August last year. We breached these in a dollars, most certainly on the cards, and uh, one to keep an eye on. Slim pickings in the FX world, not a massive amount going on. Some strength in the Aussie dollar, but you can see it's still under this 64.78 level. We could be up for a 40 pip move if we do breach that. You can see there that twice last week we challenged 65.22 intraday. So we could see this move up, but we've got a nice line in the sun that says we're ready to go, possibly around about this 64.83 level. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.